guys. Hi. <laughs> gonna be fun today. Okay, so we're actually not gonna be cooking anything today. We're showing you our favorite things in the kitchen because we get this question a, a lot. lot. Almost daily. It's almost daily. And so I think after we do the live, we'll actually then do some stories to save in our highlights. Cause I get a lot of you saying, please save the live videos in the highlights and we can't. You can't save live videos. But these videos do save and they go to our website, thefoodnanny.com, and you can click under, I, I think it is videos, yeah. and it will go to our YouTube channel and all of that. Yeah. So, um, what was I going to say? Okay, so yeah, so we're starting with our favorite things. We have our favorite things, ingredients that we're going to be talking about. That's a whole nother thing. That's a whole our, different light. Right, and we've got people asking actually daily for our favorite ingredients. Um, but there's something I want to show everybody um, before we get started. In the first book, um, on page, uh, let's see, just one second. I probably should have had that open. Um, on page 278, okay, I took the time to write must-haves. That's how I explained it a long time ago. Must-haves in the kitchen as far as kitchen tools. And then handy to have. And then nice to have eventually. Because we all know when we start out in the kitchen, there's no way you're going to be able to buy the things that no. we're going to show you today. This is a lifetime of collecting. Right. Yeah. And we're in Lizzie's Kitchen here in Denver um, area. And this is her kitchen. And she's been collecting for how long? Um... Uh, me? Yeah. Well, I've been collecting since I got married, so it's been 10 years. So 10 years. And I've been collecting for 47 years. And she's got more of things that I eventually want, so it's just a process that is slow, and you don't want to make yourself crazy and be like, oh no, well, I don't have any of that. You just slowly start buying it. Yes. So, and some of you will even have greater things than we do, and so um, make sure to you know share those with us. Um, some of you will have better ideas and even greater tools than, than we can afford yeah. or, than, or that we have. But we feel like we're pretty mainstream and we feel like we're out there and we're always on top of it as far as trying to have the, the easiest, the most economical, um, the, 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 best most for the, price. the best for the price. And so we're, we're trying to be on it for you guys. Yeah. And, and honestly, we don't tell you anything that we don't love. Oh, no. Absolutely. Like, absolutely love. Okay. So in a minute, too, we're going to get our two sisters involved and our sister-in-law that's here that came to visit. And they're each going to tell you their absolute favorite things that are in the kitchen as well. Yeah. So this is going to be fun. So let's get started because we have lots of... Of stuff everywhere. And if there's any that we want to talk about, <clears throat> um, just ask your questions. We'd like. I to don't go know back if I've missed any so far. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to get my books. Oh, oh you're right. gonna love uh, dating divas. Look at you, cute sisters. Oh, it's this so is nice. Now, all of this, Mom. all of this is obviously to go with our meal plan. Yes. And our recipes. Honestly, so, I feel like most things that we're talking about, we use daily. Um, and so that's why they're kitchen essentials to us, right? Right, exactly. And so let's start. Okay, let's so start I'm going to get this basics. down. Yeah. You're going to do what, Lizzie? I might get this down to film okay. you. Okay. Lizzie's going to kind of go come around, but we're both going to talk together um, about... Oh. Let's, let's start with some of... Lizzie, you need to come and, and be in here with me. I will. Okay, let's start Sorry, my with... my ice watering. Yeah. Let's start with some of the very basics, okay? Like these. We love these. Yeah, they're the best measuring, measuring cups. spoons. Are we measuring, measuring cups. cups. <laughs> oh, yeah, measuring cups. Why do you love these, Lizzie? Well, you tell them why you love them. You're the one that made me get them. Well, yeah. you said they were your absolute favorite. I love them because I love the feel. I love how durable these are. These will last a thousand years. You can pass these down to your grandkids. Um, I love the one fourth, the one third, the the half, the. It's uh, a set two that thirds, comes actually with all of them. Yeah, but not 
all every set comes with right all of right these. and this one does this one comes with all of them it's stainless they're they can go in the dishwasher i don't know i love these these are my very favorite measuring dry measuring cups and tell we need to say where we get stuff okay you can get these at sir la top william sonoma Orson Gigi um, Orson has Gigi, them too. Um, the better kitchen stores and maybe even the outlets on occasion. These aren't inexpensive. That's the only problem. You may have to get these down the road because they're not inexpensive. I think they're around 20 something or maybe What's 30. the brand? The brand doesn't actually, it, it's, it comes on a a chain. Yeah, it comes on and a so chain. I'm, I'm not sure what the brand is, but, but you can find them. We'll get that brand name for you. Um, we actually, I actually It doesn't come with an, everybody's asking, so say it again. This doesn't come with a name. It's just, but there is you'll a name. see them. Yes, there is a name, but you'll see these in William Sonoma, Sir La Tau, yeah. or St. Gigi. You'll see these. Ask for the stainless steel dry measuring spoons. Okay. Our next essential would be this. Lizzie, go ahead and talk about that. <laughs> My arm is getting wore out. Okay, so we actually bought these how many years ago? At least 10. This is probably at least 10 years ago, and we were so obsessed with them that we decided to, um, that we decided to sell these. And so you can get these with your cookbooks, and it's free shipping on the spoon. If you buy some and order them, you know, order them with your cookbooks, you can put them in. But they're three dollars, and they're the best. It's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, and a fourth a teaspoon. So I really am not kidding. This is the only thing that we use, and everybody loves it as a little present. Um, a lot of you gave them as Christmas presents, like little stocking stuffers, cute little things. So this is another essential that we love. Some people even put these. And somebody said Endurance is the brand. Oh, is it in for this? For these, is it endurance? That's what she just said. I believe that that could be the name. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. So thank you, endurance. Great. Dang. Um, DM me if you're, and we'll see if your books have already shipped. If they have, I'm sorry, but make sure to look at that when you buy the cookbooks and you add them to the cart. It will say on the very bottom. Would you like to add this? And then you can add this and put it into your cart with the When books. we first started using these, I still kept my other teaspoons or, right. or my um, my dry measuring, you know, spoons around. But now I don't even, I don't need them. Yeah, it's our favorite. Them. It's our favorite thing. Okay. Okay. So, Lizzie, go ahead. Why are you making me talk? Okay. <laughs> this is a dough scraper, which I we call it a dough scraper. And I guess it's not really. There's actually another name There's a to different it. name to it. But I love this thing. I feel like I use it on the daily. Um, when you're making your homemade bread, your pizza, it scrapes the dough off of the counter super well, like this. And then I love to like use it as dividing my pizza doughs. It also has measurements on it. It has measurements. I use it for the pie dough. Yeah, it's a multi-purpose scraper. There's actually um, a different one that's actually called the dough scraper that doesn't have the roll on it but this is a multi-purpose scraper. It's very important. Of course, a whisk has to be in every single kitchen and I have them in every size and so does Lizzie. This will save you if you have lumpy gravy. <laughs> if you're trying to get your soup mixed up, this is a lifesaver. You must have a whisk. This is an essential. Lizzie, this is an essential. You tell them. Okay, um, this one is your liquid measure and Every, I love this one because it isn't glass. Um, I, I also love the glass, but this is a great one. And why do you love this one? I just love the OXO brand. I love it. I love the OXO brand. Too. I love the OXO brand. I think it's great. I think they're, I think they're durable. I, I don't know, I love this size. I don't feel like it's too big because when you're using baguettes, it only calls for like a half a cup of water. I just don't love the massive glass ones all the time. No. Okay, I know this is your favorite. Oh my heavens. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, this is my favorite cheese grater. Yes, it's, uh, how expensive, $5? I think this is $5 from Ikea and it really is my favorite cheese grater. I, I've had this forever and I, I just, I don't know. I love everything about it. I love that it keeps the cheese. It's just easy, it's cheap, I love it's, it. It's great. Okay, 
You go. This is one of my favorite brands of Nike. I love Wolschkraft from Germany and I love Globo. It's actually from Japan. I love these knives. It's so durable. It's so durable and super easy to sharpen. Um, both brands are easy to sharpen and they're, it's, it's just a great knife. And everybody has to have a chef's knife. There's three knives that everybody needs. Everybody needs a chef's knife, you need a bread knife, and a paring knife. Those are essential. Someday we'll do um, a, a, a yeah. live just on knives. So um, that's, that's a whole nother subject. So we can Tell them that. why you don't really like the Cutco because you have people now going crazy every time you say that. Oh no, really? Yeah, so oh. tell them why. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Cutco is fine. I don't want to say anything bad about Cutco, but it isn't as user friendly for me. Um, the the size of the knives are not as user as user friendly. I'm sure they last a long time. I actually had Cutco. Um, for, I think it's important this too. Yeah. Your, your knives get super dull, and so you got to remember to get this and show them how you do it. You can get that anywhere. Yeah, this is a knife sharpener. I have a few different kinds. Also, I know Sir Latov, you can take your knives in and you can actually send them back to Wushkoff for sure and they'll sharpen they them They want you to you. spell the name of the knife. G-L-O-B-A-L. -L. This one is global. Lizzie doesn't have any Wushkoff. I do at home. When we're at my house sometime, I'll get those out and show you. But um, for knives, like I said, we need to do a live just on knives. You need a chef's knife, you need a bread knife, and a paring knife. Those are your three essential knives, mm -hmm. okay? And a knife sharpener. The uh, problem is with me, I don't sharpen my knives enough. I yeah. really don't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what do you want to talk about next? I think this one is, I think that's become a staple. This has become fun. Um, we've talked about this a couple of times too. I, we love the kitchen stuff at World Market because it's cute, it's inexpensive. And so this little two cup thing, you could use it the same purpose. You could really, you know, use your yeast in this if you wanted to. Of we don't, like, what are you using this for? I use it for flour. I'm like using, scooping my flour in it. You do? I, I'm using it because it calls me. I, I just love it. So I'm measuring my milk. I'm measuring water. Yeah, I'm measuring chicken broth. I'm measuring any kind of liquid. But what else I'm doing? I'm putting it on the table. And I'm serving. Maybe syrup. If I, if I have a, a, all the grandkids are at my house on the weekends and I'm making big breakfast and I have syrup. Sometimes I even put different, you yeah. know, if I have maple or raspberry syrup or, you know, a blueberry syrup, I'll use this for syrup. I'm serving with this. Yeah, I serve with it too. My milk gravy always goes in this now. It's cute. When we do it's our chicken cute. fried steak, my milk gravy is always in this. I love this. Okay. Okay. Um, it is true. It is it true if you whisk your dry ingredients that the same as sifting the flour? Yes, it is for me. Um, I don't know what a real, a real true chef would say, but I whisk my dry ingredients in all of my recipes in both books, tell you just to mix them um, with a spoon. On occasion, we do say, uh, put, it out, put it out on wax paper or something, and you know, mix it together and then put it out on wax paper. But mostly, I'm whisking it in a bowl, in a separate bowl. I'm not sifting. I don't think I ever mentioned sifting in my books okay. because I never did. I just never did. I have one of those from World Market and it's incorrect. What does that mean? What? She's saying this. What is incorrect? It's really not two cups. What? Oh, oh, you're saying it's not really two cups? A two cup measure? Is that what you're saying? Is that what she's saying? <laughs> I don't know. Ask. See. We, she could okay. hear us. Okay, so now let's keep okay. going. Okay, well, I know. I want you to answer back. She said yes. Oh, it isn't correct? I never knew that. Me neither, because I've been doing I've it. I've been using it. <laughs> it's been working. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I'll check In it out. In culinary school, we did use a whisk rather than a sifter. You did? Yay! Because back in the old day, um, everybody, the real cooks, 
used sifters. I never did. <laughs> um, I felt like that the whisk or just a spoon did good enough. So great to know, great to know, thanks. Okay, so our next essentials that you need to have is our baguette pan. We make the baguettes how many times a week? I mean, I don't it even know. So many. We, they're just always... It's our go-to bread. It's our go-to bread. Because from start to finish, it's honestly like less than 30 minutes from start to finish. So there's two different baguette pans. There's a perforated one and there's this one. And I don't know why I just gravitate to this one more than the perforated one. And I don't really know and why. And I don't, what do you do? I do too. And I don't really know why, although I just bought a new mini one at Orson Geeky, and I'm loving that. It's it's really mini baguettes. Mm. It's, a, it's thinner. What I mean by mini, it's as long, but it's thinner. I don't know. I But this is, I mean, you guys, I've been making our French baguettes for 45 years. And this is the kind of pan that I started out with. And so I guess it just has sentimental value, but all the baguette pans work and they're all great. And you know what? We get, we get all the time that you want a direct link to the exact one that we buy. And this one is so old that we don't have the direct link, but that is our job that we're working on is we're trying to get the exact link to each one of them so that you guys have a link to buy. Because I know that there's baguette pants, and I tell you, you can buy them anywhere, but they want like our stamp of approval on it. So we're trying to work on that. And it, it takes a minute for us to be able to purchase things online to right. check it out. It just takes sure a minute. Okay. Um, well, then show them the cookie sheets. Yeah. Tell them how you like the light. You're the one that told me all of that. Yeah, so these are my favorite cookie sheets on earth. Um, you get them, these actually say geeky on the back. Um, I actually bought them in the beginning at Sur La Tau. Uh, so they're just the perfect half sheet. There's a full sheet, not very many ovens, which is to double this. Not very many ovens actually fit this, but the Blue Star actually does. It fits a full sheet. If any of you own a Blue Star, um, you can actually do a double one of these in your oven. But this is a half sheet, this is a quarter sheet. We use these daily. Um, oh, and we, then we have to show how we always have our parchment um, paper. Another, an, uh, this, uh, whole meals can be baked on these. We have meals like our um, Italian baked chicken with our potatoes and our onion and our chicken and our olive oil and French salt. Whole meals can be baked on these sheets. Um, we have a few in our books. Yeah. But I roast veggies on these. Um, I use, oh, it's just all day long. Cookies, every day. It's, all, it's everything. It's, it's cookies, it's everything. It's everything. So we, tell them the parchment paper. So the paper. parchment paper fits right in. You can buy the parchment paper that fits right in in Orson Geeky. That's where I buy mine. You can also buy it, I know in Europe you buy it um, in a long roll and you just cut it off and you can buy it like that here as well. But we love the parchment paper that fits both. But these sheets will, will save your life. Okay, she says, when you say light, do you mean the color or the weight? It's I the, mean color. the color and it's the, the weight. Color. It's the color and the weight. These are light, weight, and the color. These are our favorite. Um, life begins with these. Another thing you can do, and I, when I've been food manning people in their homes, I have them put all the ingredients. So if you have four or five of these, you get one out, and you put all of your ingredients on here. Say you're gonna be home late, and you're not home to cook, and your husband's going to cook, or an older, an older child is going to cook for you. So you've got all the ingredients on here for that night's dinner, and you have it on the counter, placed on the counter. The only thing that wouldn't be on here is maybe the chicken or mm -hmm. the beef, or whatever it was you were adding to your soup or recipe, mm -hmm. whatever it was, that would be in the fridge, and then you mark that in the fridge as well. But this is how um. you mise. There's, it's a word called mise, and chefs know about that word. And when you mise out your, your meals, you get it, all, it means putting everything all together. And thanks Scott Rice for teaching me that, if you're watching. He's a great chef and I love him to death. He taught me how to mise a long time ago. And so off, this can help you, moms and dads. This can actually help you in the kitchen. Using these 
a one whole recipe. Everything is on here. Even the salt, even the pepper, even... You, you know, know what? Even talking about yesterday, how we were um, saying to prepare your meals for the busy moms, if you had it out for somebody like this, yes. if you had every ingredient out, sitting out, ready for somebody, that really saves them too. She shows us how to do that all the time. Yes. Well, this is one of my, my kitchen tips, especially when I go into homes and yeah. teach. Um, so, like I said, anybody, if you're not there, and even for yourself, you've got everything there all together. It makes it so simple. Okay, okay do you use the parchment paper so the actual sheet doesn't get stained? Well, some people do, but I'm actually using it because I'm, I want my, my cookies to cook evenly. Um, I might use it um, for some veggies if I really don't want them to stick, but often I'm not using it when I'm roasting veggies because it's not going to get the actual yumminess of the, the flavors kind of getting together and some of it a little bit burned in here or there. But if you don't like that style, then just use just use some some paper. Yes, but I'm basically controlling my baking with parchment paper. I'm controlling it. You, I know people who wrap their meat in parchment paper that doesn't have wax on it. It's just brown parchment paper. They actually wrap their meat in it and they bake it because they love the tenderness and the well. Basically, it's the tenderness that the parchment paper makes it. That's a whole nother life. Okay, okay. okay. So, okay, we'll, go, we'll get to your pizza stone question, who, are, who that was. Have you ever tried those splill, how you spell that? How you say that? Sill splat mats? I can't yes. see it. Um, uh, we have, oh, Sillo. Yes, I know one of our sister-in-laws, Shanna, she uses or, hers all the time. I've never gotten into those mats. Um, I think way back when I just didn't want to spend the money on them. And so I never got used to those mats, but they're great. They can save your countertop. I just used my my breadboard countertop and loved it. How do you keep your cookie sheets from getting stained? Well, um, you just wash them really good. And Don't ever put them in the dishwasher well, either. Well, we'll talk about our favorite cleaners. We're getting to yeah. our favorite Tell cleaners. Tell me how you don't put them in the dishwasher, though. No, I never put these in the dishwasher. Right? Okay, um, what, what is this? Okay, I think we got to those. Okay. okay, oh, do you spray the parchment paper? No. 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 Okay, so go, who's, who's coming in first? Emily, come in quick. Come on, Emily. Okay, but talk about pizza stones really fast. Okay, so here's our sister, Emily. Hi. This is Emily. I got her hat on today. She has five kids, and she's a busy mom, too. Yesterday, Amy talked to us a little bit about her crazy schedule and how she puts dinner on the table. Do you have any tips for us regarding that? Hey, Emily, everybody's oh, saying. Oh hey, God. hey. Um, <laughs> I know you cook. Yeah, that I, not every night, but I do cook a lot. Well, every um, night that you have all of your kids. Yeah, every night I have all my kids. I'm you're cooking. Sure. But I, what's, what's what do you, what, I know you've got picky eaters. Yeah. I've so how do you deal eaters. with it? Honestly, it's hard, but I've just started saying, forget it. This is what dinner is. I'm sorry. Take, I try to have tons of sides though. And I try to be really aware of what everybody likes and doesn't like. So I always have something that if it's not their favorite meat or not their favorite pasta or not whatever, there's plenty of other sides. There's other vegetables, there's other, um, there's a bread, there's something that they can eat. That's exactly what I teach. Yeah. Exactly. That's so, how we did it growing up. Yeah. And they're getting better. The older they get, the less picky they are. It's really my little ones now that are the picky ones. So how is it working when you say, this is it, this is dinner, kids, you're not getting well, <laughs> anymore <laughs> later um well sometimes there's some crying and meltdowns all i have to tell you there's not everybody is happy but honestly i don't know it just it just seems to work out so um it just seems to work it's out no sorry i know it's all your kids are now than it. it is when we have a baby guys I'm we're so on sorry i'm so sorry anyway Okay, so I'll show you my favorite kitchen utensil that everybody's laughing that this is my favorite. Yeah. It's not my favorite. I mean, I have 90 million favorites, but um, for some reason, Where I use it? this a ton. It's over here. Okay. Okay, it's just this little Cuisinart, Cuisinart grinder. And honestly, I don't know why this is my favorite because 
everybody else is laughing that it is. But I use it for everything because a lot of times I will half my pizza um, sauce recipe, so I'll make it in this because I don't, sometimes I don't, I'm making Alfredo pizza or I'm making a lot of different pizzas, so I don't need all the sauce. So I use one can, it goes in here. Um, I For my Hello Dolly bars that I make, all my snacks when I'm crushing nuts, or I don't know, I seem to use this all the time when I'm making breadcrumbs, whatever. This to needs sure to be you. something that I love. And I know everybody probably has it, and they're, they're cheap, I think they're like $25. But it's an essential for me. Okay. But I love all the things they're talking about, but we had to pick one yeah. today. So today, this is, a tool that I use a lot and it's my favorite. How long have you had it? Because do you know how long it took me to buy this? Someone said they make hummus in theirs all the time. Yeah, right? I make all yeah. that kind of stuff in mine. I, I use it all the time, so I do love it. If you don't have one, uh, my big Cuisinart, I'll be honest, I, I spent a lot of money on a big Cuisinart when I first got married maybe 15 years ago, and I don't I don't use it because I, I, I'm always confused by it, so I just really like this one, wow. I like this size. And when did I buy it? I don't know. I've had mine at least 10 years. Okay, that's uh, And I, I love it. Anyway, there's, there's my tip for the day. Okay, great, Emily. Thank you. Yeah. We're loving having these girls. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Emily. So Stop it. it. We're Keep cooking. <laughs> yeah. right. what I, my favorite thing about the Food Nanny Meal Plan is honestly the money that it saves me. Um, I, I'm not, Amy mentioned yesterday, I'm not a huge Costco fan anymore and I have all these kids. I go there for my toilet paper and my paper towels and all of that, but I am a Walmart and Smith's and local grocery stores fan just because I like a little more variety and it's saving me money. Um, when I go to Costco, for some reason, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a more is more. <laughs> I'm not a less is more person and I tend to overspend. So I am staying away from Costco right now, and I'm I'm loving it. Anyway, they said is it easy to clean? Tell them yes. Oh, the Cuisinart. Yeah, yeah, that's what I love about it too. Is it? It's so much easier to clean. It's just got the one attachment. It's not. Um, my big Cuisinart has so many different attachments, and it's hard. And sometimes my blender, I cut my finger every time I use my blender. So that I do love about that. It's very easy to clean. Very user friendly. It's. No brainer. Okay, so well, they loved level. watching that's you, Em. Okay, they loved it. It's not expensive. No, it's like $25. It's like $25. Yeah. So we're so Bed Bath & Beyond. Target. 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 Yeah, oh, maybe oh, it's 10 bucks. I'm like, I got mine at Williams Sonoma. Like, 10 I just got one recently bucks. on FB, brand new in the box, 10 bucks. Yeah, they, it's wow. probably true. Okay. Okay. They're cheap. I know okay. they're cheap, but I like them. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thanks. They so loved you. It's so fun to hear from everybody. Okay, Lisa. Okay, she's next. Okay, this is Lisa. She's a daughter-in-law, and Hi. she's married to Joey. <laughs> Joey, who hated my meatloaf. No, Does he like? He loves it. He likes it now. now. Okay. Oh, he, lo oh, he likes it now. Yes. See that, guys? See yes. that? He hated it when he was a kid. No, he oh, now it. everybody's saying, "Hey, Lisa." Uh, <laughs> and I made him. Joey had to take a bite of meatloaf when he was little. Yeah. Okay, mom, I, mom, but, mom, we don't have time for okay, this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, my favorite thing in the kitchen is my KitchenAid. I use it every day for cookies. I use it, I never mix my bread by hand like Lizzie. I put all my bread <laughs> in here. I don't even know how to mix by hand. I do my protein bites for my kids for the after school snacks. I try not to feed my kids too many processed foods. I like to give them more fresh and Good. just stuff that I, you know, can make from scratch. So I use it every day. I feel like it's my favorite thing. I've had mine since I got married, which was 14 years ago. So you've had it 14 years? 14 years, years and it's still great. And I love it. Okay. Um, yeah. What color do yellow. you think is the best? Oh, I got yellow, but I wish I would have just done stainless steel. I love or that copper. One. The copper or stainless steel. I like yeah, but they, I love they only just came out with I copper. know. So next time when I need a new one, I'll just do the basics. But that'll be a while. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and how about the how about the meal plan? What's your favorite? Oh, part? I've been cooking from this meal plan the whole time I've been married. I'm married into the family and I started the meal plan. <laughs> well, that's and amazing. I it, and I love it and my kids love it. And I think it's good just to give everybody a variety of different options and food and Get your kids eating more than the same thing, you know, just uh, introducing them to new tastes. and Because that's what yeah. keeps you healthy, yes. isn't it? It's yes. the variety yeah. of food. Well, they're loving you. Everybody oh, loves it. That's so fun. Thank we love you. Lisa. Isn't she a beautiful oh, sister-in-law? Yes. Oh. Okay, Amy, quick. Amy's now coming in. <laughs> yes, okay. That's so fun. Now Amy's back. So 
I don't Amy's think we back from yesterday. Back. Okay, back what's your favorite? Mine's the pot. Mine's the pot. I don't have anything interesting to say except for I use this almost every day. Because she's but the soup use, girl. She's the soup the girl. Soup. Yes. I mean, Everybody I says, says you're all beautiful. That's, you're the soup that's very nice. nice. Um, I use this pot, I'd say, three, four, five times a week, which is a lot. So I think you should invest in it. This is obviously a name brand, so it's more expensive. Somebody, one of our, um, well, my cousin Darcy, she just recently got one from World Market. It's white, it's really cute, and it's 40 bucks. No, well, you can get these at Home Goods. Okay, you can get them you at can Home get Goods. Them at but not at Home Goods. Not a, not a, I got a Laker set at, at the outlet for $100, okay. and it's lasted me yeah. a long, 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 long time. All of our beer no, no, bread, yeah, our is beer bread, arson it. bread, uh, all the spaghetti sauce I make in it, any soup I make in it. Um, I don't know anything, I, any dish, any roast beef, yes, any if roast I'm chicken, chicken um, any tacos. I make almost everything in this pot. Yeah. Well, well, um, obviously, I do too. Look how used yeah. it is. It's so, and yeah. this is a late crusade. Yeah. You, you said. Oh, tell them the size of it. This is the size. It's, of, it's a, five a five and a half quart. It's a five and a half. It's a five and a half quart. We like the five and a half but and the nine. But if you don't have a pot like this, this has got to be purchased like today. No, it's an absolute there's, must. There's one more thing about it. It's something that we call kitchen art. And we love it sitting on our stove. So, yeah. Don't you? Yeah. They and said Sam Club puts them on sale for 20 to $30 sometimes. Really? What? Wow, people are so good about it. Are you kidding me? The deal. What size what? is the pot? It's a five I and a half. Five. And what is the material yeah. of the Lake Crusade? Get back to your cooking. Get back okay, to your thanks, cooking. Amy. Oh, these girls are so Oh, gosh. Fun. What's the, what is the material of the Lake Crusade? What is the material? It's, it's not ceramic. This is enamel. This is enamel. Yeah. Okay, I think it is the cast iron with some kind of enamel. Yeah, just say. cast iron with Everyone enamel. Everyone really needs to get the books. They are so beautiful and well-made. They are a must-have for every kitchen. Thank you. It's so nice. Okay, good to know. Thank My mother-in-law gave it to me a few years ago, and I've never used it. I'm going to use it now that I know. Wow. That. wow. She gave you a light crusade, and you've never used oh it. Oh, my God. Wow. You can purchase it at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Okay, we have ran out of time again. Okay, so, so we will continue this so another we will, time. Oh, um, okay, show the cleaning products. But we will st we'll do a couple of these in a story. So that you guys can have these because to look back so at. Because there's so many, many more things. things. So many there's more. so much more. But we'll have to continue Amy, on Amy, yes, time. is my sister. Amy and Emily are my sister. And Lisa was our sister-in-law. Yes. We've got Katie, who's in Hawaii right now. So she didn't come. And Kim couldn't make it. And she Okay, had yes, we have many more. Okay, many yes, more. Many more. <laughs> I talk way too much. Okay. Oh, my okay. heavens. Lizzie, tell them about these cleaners. Okay, I just love Myers. I do. Um, you know what is super funny is I was with a friend and we were shopping for uh, Myers and I get this flavor at World Market and she said for the rest of my life I'm going to think of you when I smell this flavor. I love this um, geranium flavor. I think it smells really good. I feel like it cleans super great. Yeah, and Mrs. Calls has it. Oh, in Mrs. Utah. Calls in Utah has the has geranium this, flavor. Has yeah. this, and then show the other things. So yeah. I just love Myers. I feel like we, that's me. We were gonna show you how to take care. I mean, there's so many things we didn't show. Lizzie loves her um, pots and pans that she got from Costco. And well, look, I did not have nice pots and pans, and my sister Amy actually gave me her old pots and pans when I first got married. And they were looking so disgusting and nasty. And I constantly just thought, I'm going to save up. I'm going to get the all clad because those are her favorite. And um, anyways, long story short, I never had the money for it. I buy something else. So we had heard from how many people? So many. It Mac was so Aaron, many everybody. people. We have a cousin that's an incredible chef that loves to cook. And he said, go to Kirkland. So I want to show you this. I don't know why, but I cannot find this on the website to do like a link, but it's the Kirkland Signature Stainless Steel Pots, and it came with like a set of eight or nine of, no, yeah, how many? I think it was eight. I think, I think it, it was eight, and it comes with the lid, and it comes with all the sizes that you need, and I feel like it looks just like it, and I feel like they're great. 
And yeah, this is the best thing to clean them. It's crazy. Kim showed us this um, a while back. I had been using it years ago and actually forgot about it. And now uh, you even got this at World Market. I tried the liquid this time, but Barkeeper's Friend, where have we been all of our lives? I don't know if you guys know this, but it's making them look completely brand new. So if you have pots and pans that are not looking good, go and buy this Barkeeper's Friend. It's amazing. And is this not, um, is this not an essential? Someone just said they don't sell them anymore. These what? pots? What? What? Oh, Since I just saw when? them. I just saw them. I was just there, but I hope you're not right. But if you are, maybe they're coming out with something even better. I we're missing so many questions. Um, you're helping me so much. Getting excited about cooking for my family. Good. The honeysuckle is amazing. You're all cute. Can you just That's adopt nice. me as your older sister? Sure. Okay. You're all cute. Sam's Club is $40 for a six and a half quart right now, but the same size is sometimes on sale. Variety of colors available. Wait, a Le Creuset? I, I don't know if that's possible with a Le Creuset. <laughs> I've never seen that, but uh, maybe a different one. I, Lodge is another good brand of, of that kind. Barkeeper's Friend is also great for cleaning unslightly white plates. Really? Wow. Thank you. I use it for copper. I use this for copper, I use it for everything, but this little thing, this is a stainless steel um, wool, stainless, it's called wool, stainless steel wool. They're claiming you should be reading us the comments. This, oh my goodness, will clean anything. And I can't live without it. Um, I brought it to you yeah. because I went crazy because you couldn't get your pants clean. Yeah, she anyway. brought it to me. Okay, the only other thing we will talk is, uh, well, there's so much to talk about. We have so much the more pizza to show. Stones, the pizza stones, the girl, she wants her question answered. She wants to know where yours was. Yours looks square. That That is from Wolf, the Wolf store. So you've got to go down to the Wolf store, that's the kind of stove I have. So I bought their pizza stone when I got that stove. Okay. And so I've had that a while and it's super Oh, good. is Barkeeper's yeah. Friend super for expensive. cookie sheets? I've actually used it on the cookie sheets. Yeah, I yeah. have. I, I don't know if it necessarily is, but I have. Doesn't the wool take off the finish of the cookie sheets? That wool thing is really yeah. great with our hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh, this we didn't is show that. That's such an essential. I use this every. Can single I just day. tell you something hilarious? If you go to Amazon and you go to buy our hot chocolate maker, the Fabras, guess what it says to pair it with the most popular thing: our salt. <laughs> <laughs> it says funny. the two things to put together, together are this. And that French salt. Okay, that's we, from the food nanny. That's that totally us that's because us. we're obsessed with both of those things. I use this every single day. That that wool thing really cleans this the best. Yeah, that unbelievable. Is when you get um, you know, a little bit of the milk that sticks at the bottom and turns black, it that wool thing cleans everything for me. Trent, but, tr what is that? I can't see this sometimes. Um, it's Tremont a great Dutch oven. Great, oh, I don't know that one. For a fraction of Lake Crusade cost. T-R-A-M-O-N-T-I-N-A. -N -N wow, I've never heard of that brand. I That's got a great. big rectangular stone for Sir Top, and it was the best because I can cook two pizzas at a time. Big rectangle. Okay, yeah. That's I, great. I even bought the um, pizza tiles from Sir Top. The tiles that actually, they're, they're just squares that you put them together and it'll take up your whole, the your you know, your whole. Okay, okay, deal. they're I'm claiming we need to wrap it up. Okay. Okay, but we'll do more stories of a couple of other things, but my favorite thing that I was gonna talk about like crazy is the cutting boards, the bread boards. I'm so obsessed with bread boards. I, um, it's been kind of we funny to are. see how everybody doesn't really know about them. They're a decorating, they're functional. I have them everywhere. I, I just try to put them everywhere in my home to make it nicer. So I I love the breadboards everywhere. Every kind, every style, every shape. These are the next thing I want to talk about really fast and then it will seriously be done. We are about to put more of these on our website. My mother-in-law and what would she be? My The grandma, yeah, my husband's grandma. She hand makes these hot pads 
And I know that some of you got to buy them. They sold out in five minutes when we mentioned it the last time. But we're going to be putting these back on the website. They've been working. They are the best top hats. I'm not even just saying that. I told you I don't like homemade knitted stuff. I really don't. No <laughs> offense, but I really don't. And these are my absolute favorite. And we can't get enough. They no. bleach them. They come completely clean. And then these new dishcloths from Anthropology. if you have not bought them yet, run. Amazing. Run. Can they are our favorite. Too. You yeah. get a pack of six of them for $19. They're cute. They don't stink. You wash them on hot. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed so, too. We have so all much all the time. There's so okay. much to show. Um, but thanks for watching, everybody. Um, so many of these oh things God. are my favorites. I'm going to talk about some of my favorites next time. They're all but our favorites. They're all our favorites. We love okay, you guys. Okay, love you guys. Um, we'll see you to, well, let's see. We'll be showing our um, blueberry pancakes tonight. Um, you'll see it, not in a story probably, but we'll be cooking those for all these kids tonight. They love the blueberry pancakes in the second book. That's what's on the menu. Tomorrow is our pork salad, which we will be showing The girl you. says she loves the hot pads. We're missing all of your questions. I'm yeah. very sorry. These are going to come back on the website. They really are the best in the Get world. prepared in the world to buy. Yeah, love you guys. Okay. Um, tomorrow we have a live Just finish it off. with um uh, our pork salad. So we'll see you at 10 a.m. in the morning with our pork salad tomorrow night. We're doing a cooking class with some of the Bronco players, which is going to be amazing. Which we'll be doing a story for that too. Yes. So we can't wait for that. Keep so cooking. Your family's worth it. We love you. Talk to you later. Have a nice day.